Dexas IS-3700, getting started. This beginning level help demo is designed for clinical team members and provides an overview and instructions for getting started with your new Dexas IS-3700. By the end of this help demo, you should be able to Identify the scanner components Set up the scanner Launch IS scan flow Navigate the IS scan flow interface Configure your preferences and enable live video. Let's get started. Identifying the scanner components. The DEXIS IS-3700 is delivered with the following components. The DEXIS intraoral scanner handpiece. A wrist strap. A set of two tips. One normal. In one side. The power box. The holder. The power adapter and a shade calibration unit. Reusable tips. There are three types of tips. Normal, facing downward. Side, facing left. And posterior, facing downward. The posterior tip allows for more comfortable scanning in hard to reach areas. The posterior tip is designed for quadrant scanning only and should not be used to scan a complete arch. Power button. Press 1 second to power on. And 3 seconds to power off. Shade calibration unit. After 50 hours of scanning, approximately 13 days, use the shade calibration unit to recalibrate the scanner. Keep the cap on the calibration unit until you are ready to use it. Always install a cleaned and sterilized tip on the scanner before attaching the shade calibration unit. Attach the shade calibration unit to the normal tip using the normal opening. Attach the shade calibration unit to the side tip using the side opening. Be sure to push the shade calibration unit to the end when attaching to the tip. Note, the posterior tip cannot be used for shade matching. Do not touch the gray card in the shade calibration unit or expose it to liquids. Store the calibration unit away from light, heat, and moisture. Order a new shade calibration unit if the gray card quality check fails when performing a calibration, or if the expiration date on the shade calibration unit is approaching. See the DEXIS IS ScanFlow user guide for more information. Setting up the scanner. Remove all the items from the scanner case and place them on your workstation. Remove the power adapter from the box. Remove the protection cap and place a scanning tip on the scanner as shown. Connect the wrist strap as shown. Place the scanner on the holder. Connect the proper power adapter. Connect the wall outlet power cable to the power box and plug it to a power source. Connect the scanner to the power box. Plug the USB cable to the USB 3.0 port on the computer. Launching IS ScanFlow Double-click your DEXIS IS ScanFlow icon. Click Sign In. 
Enter your registered email address. Click Continue. If you do not have an account, click Sign Up Now and create an account. Enter your password. Click Sign In. The welcome window is displayed. Search for or create a patient. Choose your patient. The patient information window is displayed. In the patient information window, you can choose to scan, import a scan, or choose the intraoral camera to launch the intraoral camera. Note, this option is available for DEXIS IS3800 and DEXIS IS3800W users only. Click Scan. The DEXIS IS ScanFlow window is displayed. Navigating the IS ScanFlow interface. In this overview, we will highlight some of the features to help familiarize you with the look and feel of DEXIS IS ScanFlow. In the DEXIS IS ScanFlow window, you have your title bar. It shows the patient's name. If someone is signed in, it shows the initials of who is signed in. If you click the initials, you can switch accounts or log out. Click the cloud icon to launch DEXIS IS Connect Cloud. Click the Start Record Screen icon to start or stop the recording screen. This feature must be enabled in Preferences. Click the Menu icon to access the Settings menu. Click the Minimize icon to minimize the DEXIS IS ScanFlow interface. And click the Close icon to close the DEXIS IS ScanFlow interface. The Acquisition Step icons indicate the current step in the acquisition process. The Imaging Toolbar enables you to select and manage 3D images. The jaw and bite selector enables you to select upper or lower jaw, or the buckle bite registration. The configure scan toolbar is used to select an acquisition mode and access specific tools for each mode. The 3D model display screen displays the 3D model created from the scan. The video preview screen displays live video while scanning the patient's teeth. The general toolbar enables you to change how the 3D model is displayed. Click the back icon to go back to the patient's information window. The scanner icon displays the scanner status. Under the settings menu, you have the following options. Tips. Export. About. Preferences. Help. Tutorial videos. If you have a software update, you will see this option. And. If you are subscribed to a premium plan, you will see this option. Configuring your preferences. Click to open the preferences menu. The preferences dialog box enables you to select DEXIS IS ScanFlow interface and scanner settings. It is recommended to set up your preferences before using the scanner. Note, turn on your scanner prior to opening DEXIS IS ScanFlow to have all options available to edit. There are six preference categories. General, device, save, Scan, Color, and Tools. Here are the preferences for the features you'll use daily. Under the General tab, you have the following options. Tips. This option is used to view tips for certain features of the software. Click the radio button to enable or disable this feature. Software Language. Click the drop-down arrow to choose your default language. Tooth Numbering System. Select your Tooth Numbering System. Scroll down. Theme. The options for your background are Light, Dark, and Follow System. Enable this option if you are using the override background color. This option is best if you prefer a contrast between your background and button colors. After enabling override background, choose your background color. A warning message will be displayed if your color combination is not optimal for reading. Next, click the Device tab. Under Scanning Sound, you have three options. Select No Sound if you prefer not to hear a sound while scanning. Scanner Sound. If enabled, a beeping sound occurs each time a scan starts and stops. One beep indicates scanning is in progress. 
Two beeps indicate the scan has stopped and you must rescan a previously scanned area to begin again. A single beep also indicates you have successfully captured a buckle bite while capturing the patient bite. PC sound. Select to have a sound continuously play through your PC when you are successfully scanning. If the sound stops, the scanning stops, and you must rescan a previously scanned area to begin again. Click the drop down and choose your sound effect for your PC sound. To adjust the volume, click or drag the slide bar to increase or decrease the volume sound. Next, click the Save tab. Under Save, you have three options. Autosave, Raw Data, and Byte Registration Output. Both are enabled by default. Autosave Quadrant Snapshots. Enabling this feature, automatically saves quadrant snapshots in JPEG format for every scan acquired. Next, click the Scan tab. Under Scan, you have Extra Byte Capture. Enable this feature when more than one byte registration is required. Examples could be protrusive, centric relation, or open byte. Scroll down. Scan warning, which is routinely enabled, displays green lines and red arrows, indicating areas of weak connections among tooth surfaces, which might cause an image stitching error. Here is an example of scan warning. Highlight hole. Highlights a boundary around areas missed in scanning, producing a hole as a result. This feature is routinely disabled when the background color is not enabled. Here is an example of highlight hole disabled and enabled. Scroll down. Enable shade matching if you plan to use the scanner as a shade guide. Select the shade matching library that you plan to use. Select the refine resolution default for your scans. Low resolution tends to be used for models. Standard is designed for appliances. And high is ideal for crowns, bridges, and implants. Next, click the color tab. Under color, you have the following options. Hole filling, which is routinely enabled. The software manufactures data to fill in holes in the scan after refinement. The color displayed is based on the selection of hole filling color. To change the hole filling color, click hole filling color and select the desired color. This is an example of hole filling color disabled and enabled. Adaptive hole filling color. If enabled, the software uses a neighboring color to fill in a hole. Note, this option is only available when Enable HD3D and Enable Hole Filling are both selected. Here is a visual of adaptive hole filling color enabled with HD3D selected. Next, click the Tools tab. Under Tools, you have the following options. Orthodontic Simulation Enable this option if you want the ability to demonstrate before and after orthodontic treatment. Enable Oral Compare if you want the ability to overlay scans from different capture dates and check or measure the differences. Enable Screen Recording is routinely enabled. This feature records up to two hours of acquisition data as an MP4 file. This can be useful as a training aid as well as a troubleshooting tool. Enable Autosave Screen Recording if you want to automatically save a copy of the MP4 file. Scroll down. Click the ellipsis icon to select where you want to save the MP4 files. Click the folder icon to open the folder containing the MP4 files. And then click Save to save your preferences. Enabling Live Video To enable live video, remove the scanner from the holder. If you would like to expand or shrink the live video window, grab the top left corner of the window and drag it out to expand it. Or drag it in to shrink it. This concludes the DEXIS IS 3700 Getting Started Help Demo. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website at dexis.com.